Who's the victim? Who's the victim? Who's the victim? License, registration, insurance. CSS. CSS is the victim. You don't see what happened? They are the victim right now. Are they the victim right now? They're having to stop their trains because. No, I know black and white how it goes. Law, I I know exactly how it goes. License, registration, and license lounge. It's all right in there, but I'm not gonna give it to you until I need to. Right now, you need to. I'm at Meridian and Jackson. While driving the streets of Tampa, Florida, an individual inadvertently took a wrong turn and found himself on a railroad crossing. Upon realizing his predicament, he promptly requested assistance, leading to the arrival of two officers from the Tampa Police Department. Regrettably, their demeanor upon arrival reflected a lack of professionalism, as they made it abundantly clear that they worked for the city of Tampa and not for the people. I work for the city, I don't work for the people. The aforementioned officers, who remained unidentified, made every attempt to press charges against the individual who simply sought aid. Okay, so I'm trying to define. I'm trying to see where my girlfriend. I need my girlfriend to know where I'm at. We're asking you what happened. Can you get off the phone, please? We're trying to figure out what happened here. Well, I tried to turn, make, make this turn, and I thought it was this turn. Um, it was dark, and I made this turn instead. Long story short, I ended up off the tracks, and that's where I'm at now. So that's why I'm stuck now and I can't move back or forward at all. I was asking them to send a police cruiser. I wanted them to send me a tow truck to be able to pull me out. But I have trouble right, in myself. Drunk, but it doesn't work that way. I'm sorry? Because you're drunk, but it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. I'm sorry? You heard me? Like you're three. Can I you heard you. But that didn't make no sense at all. No, I'm not drunk. Okay. I remember my, my Quebec 5-3. It's a black Okay. Black. So we do have... Uh, all right. I'm on my radio. You have your I'm on Meridian, and uh, it's not a traffic stop. I called you out here. You know, it's for familiar rights. It's a crash. It's not a crash at all. I uh, it it's is a crash. crash. It's not it's not big, big. The key difference between a car crash and a car accident lies in legal terminology. A car crash typically results from a collision caused by driver negligence, leading to damage while an accident is an unintentional event that may or may not result from the driver negligence. In legal cases, seeking assistance is crucial due to the distinct implications and compensation differences between crashes and accidents. In American English, car accident is a broader term that can encompass any car related event while a crash specifically refers to a violent collision resulting in significant damage or injury. So, Who's, the Who's, the Who's the victim? Who's the victim? License, CSX. registration, insurance. CSX. CSX is the victim. You don't see what happened? They are the victim right now. Are they the victim They're right now? They're having to stop their trains because. No, I know black and white how it goes. Law, I know exactly how it goes. Ignorant. License, registration, and license lounge. It's all right in there, but I'm not gonna give it to you until I need to. Right now, you need to. I'm at Meridian and Jackson. What are you doing? Whoa, 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 an act relating to the concealed carry of weapons and firearms without a license now permits Florida residents to legally carry concealed firearms and knives without a state-issued weapons permit. The bill allows the concealed carry of any knife, including switchblades, automatic knives, and butterfly knives without the need for a permit as of July 1st, 2023. However, prior to the passage of HB 543, residents were only permitted to carry a common pocket knife with a blade measuring four inches or less as defined by the Florida Supreme Court. In the video, it is inconclusive whether the knife carried by the driver was four inches or less given its positioning. Nevertheless, it is apparent that the officer was also unable to accurately determine the length of the knife. Based on the available evidence, it seems that the knife is shorter than four inches and securely folded. It is improbable for an individual to comfortably operate a vehicle with a sharp knife exceeding four inches protruding during driving. The officer lacked any evidence, probable cause, or reasonable articulable suspicion to believe that the man was in possession of a knife longer than four inches, which is entirely lawful in Florida. 
Having said that, the police officer conducted an unlawful search infringing upon the rights of the citizen. Furthermore, without probable cause, her physical contact with the individual constitutes battery under Florida state law. Florida Statute 784.03 The offense of battery occurs when a person actually and intentionally touches or strikes another person against the will of the other. What are you talking about, bro? So you just pushed her. No, I didn't. Victor, are you kidding me? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Are you serious? Yeah. I called you guys. And Doesn't I said, what's the call you? Yes, I did. Somebody else no, called. No, no, no. I know, I know the two boys that called you before school, and then I called you afterwards. So I call you for help and I get arrested. That is crazy. Why didn't you do it? You are the aggressive one. You just pushed my part. No. Okay. You, you, you can say whatever you want. That's fine. You are the aggressor. You. As a person who did not want to provide his information when we got you. It's all right there. It's all right there. Right there. I'm not your bitch. I don't go to your no, car. I called you shit. for help. I didn't call you to be arrested. I called you for help. I called you for help. Well, here we are. And and if you would listen did. to instructions, you would not be arrested. No, I didn't call you to listen to nobody. I called you for help. I needed some help. I needed assistance. Victor, three. We need a 1031 for that Kia. Alcohol. Mm -hmm. <sighs> well, we're gonna tell you this is for you. How do I turn your phone off? How do I turn your phone off? How do I turn your phone off? I don't know. What's the password? It's, 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 this should hurt. Can you help me? Can you stop hurting me? Can you, you check my, the, my handcuffs at all? What's the code to turn your phone off? I can't tell you. Uh, you know, hey. Can you take, loosen these up, though, please? She don't have my code either. Can you loosen my code up? This is an accident. He, he he hit something that made him end up like that, right? So we asked for his driver's license, his mm -hmm. registration, insurance, and he said no. I went, he has a knife right here, and he keeps putting his hands where you are, so I went to take the knife, and he pushed her. Now you need to. I'm at Meridian, and... Jackson, what are you doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. So that is why he's arrested. We can't, he's obviously drunk. We can't do anything about the DUI. In the state of Florida, individuals can be subject to a DUI arrest without being observed driving or sitting in the vehicle. Florida law stipulates that a person can be convicted of a DUI if they were driving or in actual physical control of a vehicle. Florida statute 316. Point one nine three driving under the influence. A person is guilty of the offense of driving under the influence and is subject to punishment as provided in subsection two if the person is driving or in actual physical control of a vehicle within this state. Actual physical control denotes that a person must be physically in the vehicle and have the capability to operate it, regardless of whether they are actually driving at the time. The determination of whether a person is in actual control is based on the totality of circumstances, as established in State v. Jones. Factors such as possession of the vehicle's key being in the driver's seat and the vehicle's operability are considered. Florida courts have ruled that certain actions, such as accessing registration and other documents from a vehicle at the accident scene, can constitute evidence of actual physical control as seen in State v. Favreau. In another case, a person was found to be in actual physical control when present at a crash scene, standing near the driver's side door with the car key in reach, with the vehicle registered to them as evidence in State v. Walsh. 
Consequently, individuals can face DUI charges even if they were not driving when stopped by the police and do not necessarily have to be inside of the vehicle to be found guilty of a DUI. Given this information, if the driver was indeed intoxicated or if the officer detected the scent of alcohol emitting from the driver, she would have had probable cause to make an arrest and charge the driver with DUI. However, considering that the falsehood was simply a retaliation action, the officer recognized that she lacked sufficient evidence to pursue a charge due to the absence of sustaining elements for her account. He's obviously drunk. We can't do anything about the DUI. But, like we said, this is a crash and he pushed it. Where is he here? Oh, he's in the back. He's here. That would be me using my discretion and being courteous, which I don't have to do. Exactly, because I don't need to. You've given me no reason to go out of my way to do anything for you. I'm a I don't care. I'm a citizen too. Yeah, but you work for the citizens. You work for people. Though. You don't care to be courteous to people? I don't have to be courteous to someone who pushed me. I didn't push you. Stop it. It's on video, so whatever. Take it to court. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You also wouldn't give us the information we asked for, so. The for you all have it right now, already. So now what is the issue? Your pride, that's it. You work for the people, and your pride is what makes you. I work for the city, I don't work for the people. You work for the people. You work for the people. You pay your taxes, you pay your taxes. I pay my taxes too. Oh, don't worry, I'm requesting everything. All of you. Go ahead. I'm before request everything. I don't want them all the All of them. Okay, good for you. Let me read it to me too. Damn. Well, you called your girlfriend to come over here, so we had to deal with her. I don't yeah, know what she's gonna that, do. I asked you to move her to no, you didn't. You it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Where's this from? You can female class, you have too much pride. You don't understand too much that I can work for the damn people, bro. You can't just be prepared to be positive about it. Here we go. Another good example of tyrants looking to harm the citizens versus help the citizens. This is the Tampa Police Department located in the state of Florida. We do not know the results of the man in this video. I do not know if the charges were dropped or not. I will be digging and I will bring you an update as soon as I find out more. Make sure you know your rights. Always record the police because you never know when you're going to bump into tyrants like these. Make sure you know your rights. With that being said, we the People University signing off. In a world shrouded in secrecy, where trust is fragile and justice hangs in the balance, one brave author, Abaya Israel, has unveiled the truth. Living in the world of tyranny, a gripping expose by Abaya Israel uncovers the hidden stories that have haunted police departments across America. Dive into the heart-pounding pages of a book that pulls no punches, revealing shocking secrets hidden behind the badge. Inside you'll discover stories of cops fighting cops, police chiefs entangled in unprofessional relationships, and unspoken truths about deaths that were swept under the rug. Abaya Israel, powerful narrative will leave you on the edge of your seat, unveiling a side of law enforcement you've never seen before. Are you ready to uncover the hidden world of tyranny that's been kept in the shadows for far too long? Readers are calling it a revelation, a wake-up call, and a courageous masterpiece that's long overdue. Living in the World of Tyranny by Abaya Israel, who is also the driving force behind We the People University, the popular YouTube channel that has been exposing police corruption for over two years, is a riveting revelation, a must-read for those who seek the truth. But that's not all. Don't miss out on the book that's making waves across the nation. Get your copy of Living in the World of Tyranny now, and be prepared to have your perspective forever changed.